a Hilton Head International Airport this weekend. Will officials say, give yourself a little extra time. The number of people hitting the friendly skies for business or pleasure is now exceeding pre-pandemic levels. WSAV News News Alex Bazargian has a closer look at traveler attitudes and what to expect this summer. On the cusp of a busy Memorial Day weekend, WSAV News 3 is gauging how people are feeling about getting on an airplane. I think I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable. I've been vaccinated since February 8th. So I'm, I feel safe. That comfort level coming a long way from 2020 when the airport was only seeing 300 passengers a day. We've come a long, long way since then. This weekend, we're going to be well over 10,000 passengers a day. Um, and we're starting to see more and more days that are that busy. Marketing director Lori Lina says the airport is busier now than it was at the same time in 2019. I have been going out super early to travel because the wait times have been pretty crazy. Gone are the days of showing up just before your flight. The airport is now telling passengers to get here two hours before so they can get to their destination drama free. You don't really see any difference than the way it looked pre pandemic, except that people are wearing masks. Travelers do have to wear masks, but they don't have to prove they're vaccinated. I don't think that that should be something that should be in place right now. I got my um, vaccination card in my passport just in case, but I think um, especially out of the country, I think they should show. On Tuesday, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp took a firm stance on the matter, banning state agencies, state service providers, and state properties from requiring coronavirus vaccine passports. In Savannah, Alex Bozargian, WSAV News 3, on your side. And Lori Lina says on average, travelers can expect 30 minute wait times to get through security.